Yes, yes, I'm Alex and thanks for checking out another video. Now, what have these two Robert Glasper tracks got in common? The first one is Rest in Warrior by R&R Equals Now. Second is Gretchen Parlato Blue and Green, which has a full breakdown for if you want to follow the link above. Now obviously, if you're watching this video, that means you've already clicked on the title, so we all know that the answer is metric modulation, but both of these tracks are using a specific type of metric modulation. So the type of modulation that we're gonna focus on today is to turn the speed of a dotted eighth note in the A section into a quarter note in the B section. Now if that just sounds like a lot of words for the moment, that's fair enough. Once we go through the exercises, it will all start to make a lot more sense. The first half of this video is gonna be fairly theory based whilst we go through some exercises to understand the modulation, and then I promise we'll start to make it musical. So the first thing we wanna do is give ourselves a basic groove to work from. Today, we're gonna to play a backbeat in 3-4, because in 3-4, this modulation resolves naturally every bar. So you get kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. You could write it in 6-4, but in terms of the theory, in my opinion, it's a little easier to understand in 3-4. So from now on in this video, this will be known as feel one. And to get it going, we're just gonna play a few bars of our basic groove and then start to play dotted eighth notes up on the hi-hat whilst keeping our bass drum and our snare drum in the same position. Not too bad so far. So in a bar of three, four, you have four dotted eighth notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, and then it starts again on beat one. Now the next step is in unison with those dotted eighth notes, we're gonna alternate between playing a bass drum and a snare drum. Now obviously in a bar of four, four, you've got four quarter notes. So to the listener, it will just sound like the most basic rock groove ever. Boom, ga, boom, ga. For the rest of this video, we're gonna call this feel two. Let's give it a go. Another way that you can read and write a metric modulation is to use one of these little metric modulation symbols. So it just says dotted eighth note equals quarter note. So you're taking the speed of a dotted eighth note from the first feel and changing or modulating so that that becomes the speed of your quarter note in the second feel. In Resting Warrior, a lot of the phrasing in the B section is based around eighth note triplets with that classic sort of jazz ride symbol pattern. So next, we're gonna keep the groove in feel one just completely straight, just rock solid quarter notes. When we modulate into feel two, we're gonna play the jazz ride cymbal pattern up on the hi-hat to get used to the sound of the triplets in the modulation. Right, let's take the theory we've learned and actually make it musical. So I've written out a little chord progression that modulates from feel one to feel two that we're gonna play along with. If you'd like to download and play along with the chord progression to use it as a practice tool, you can do so by following the link in the description to my Bandcamp page. So to give us more options, this time, instead of just playing the jazz ride cymbal pattern, we're gonna play a halftime shuffle in feel two. But more importantly, we're now using these two feels as a general framework to improvise over rather than everything being set in stone. So let's give it a go and see what we can come up with. Now just jumping from one field to the other gives you a particular sound and in my opinion it does sound really cool. 
but sometimes you might want something to link the two parts together, something to just smooth out the transition. So a couple of years ago, I was working on a lot of metric modulation stuff and getting lost in the modulations. Basically, I couldn't work out how to get back from a modulation once I'd already changed the field. So I booked a Skype lesson with the legend, JP Bouvet, and he was able to explain to me that to get back from a modulation, what you need to do is reverse the modulation. So the modulation we worked on so far is to the speed of dotted eighth notes, which is the same as saying every three sixteenth notes. So to get back again, we want to reverse those numbers. So instead of every three sixteenth notes, which are groups of four, we want to play every four eighth note triplets, which are groups of three. So as a demonstration of this, this time I'm going to start in field two, and I'm going to play a single stroke roll in eighth note triplets on the snare drum. First, I'm going to accent every three eighth note triplets, which is every downbeat, Halfway through, I'm gonna change from accenting every three to every four notes. And what you'll hear is that when we modulate back into feel one, these new accents are actually our original downbeat. A lot of words I know, mate, but have a listen and hopefully it will all make sense. Boom, so you can use these metric modulations to change feel and or tempo, so now it's time to get creative with them. One thing to bear in mind is that today we played in 3-4, so that our modulation will resolve every bar. But in Resting Warrior, the A section is in 15-8, and in Blue and Green, the A section is in 7-4, so it could be played in any time signature, so just experiment and see what you like the sound of. If you'd like to grab the notation and the backing track, I'll leave a link down in the video description. If you'd like to go deeper on these concepts, I do teach Skype lessons, so I'll also leave a link for that. And if you got anything from this video, hit the button to join the Wednesday crew, man, and I'll catch you in the next one.